Hello guys, welcome back to programming in python.com. Here in this video, I am going to show you how to perform different file operations like opening a file, reading content from a file, writing data to a file, appending some data to the already existing file, deleting a file and all that stuff. Actually, uh, we can do all these operations using a, an object uh, which python provides which is called a file object. So here in this video, I will cover all those things. So let's get started. So when you want to do any of those operations like uh, reading a file, writing a file, first we need to open a file that is something become, which is something like like this open file this is the function for open and we can pass some arguments like a file name I will name is I will name it as just test.txt you, you should also give the extension of the file name I will name it as test.txt and we have to give a mode here here yeah, there are different type of mo different types of modes like reading writing and appending there those are represented by r w and a and we can also write something like this is for w means for writing there is also w plus and which means that open the file for reading and writing for both the purposes there is w b which means we have to write uh, the uh, which takes uh, input in bytes format so we will uh, first write this along with this reading and writing when we open a file it creates as an object so that object also contains some attributes like name of the file whether the file is closed or open the mode of the file and all so we will first check those file attributes here so I will name this variable as file, attrib file attributes and I will just open a file which uh, actually this file is, does not exist when you open with uh, this writing mode it creates a new file if, and if the file already exists it overwrites the file now I will just print some content like I uh, will create the name of the file and this name of the file would be uh, we can write something like file attributes dot uh, name and we will also print some more things like uh, uh, which mode it is open whether it is uh, and whether it is open or closed file mode we will say it as file mode something like that and this would be mode and we can also check whether the file is open or not we will just name it as open or not and we will just give this as uh, closed means it says whether the file is closed or not actually uh, given it here open or not okay now if we uh, one thing is after we open a file we need to close this file I will just close this now if I run this so now if I run this uh, and see you can see the output uh, see you can see the output here name of the file is test.txt and its mode is in writing mode and it's, it's uh, open or not it's false that means it's uh, closed and so now if we copy this uh, and paste it here after closing the file you can see the output changes uh, I will cha keep this text as again and I will run this uh, program again you can see this this again value changes to true that means whether the file is closed or not it, the, the file is not yet closed that's how this uh, we can use this uh, file attributes thing and uh, after that after file attributes uh, and after file attributes we will just uh, know we'll just um, I don't know, we'll just see how to write to a file. File first we'll see how to write to a file using this uh, bytes. So this would be a file write bytes and uh, and I will open it in uh, same uh, writing mode as well. Uh, I will open it in the same mode as here. Uh, and after opening it we need to write to a file. That would be file write um, equal to a uh, similar to open function there's a function called write so we can use that to write to a file so now we'll write to this file using um, we'll write to this file using bytes and we'll then we'll call this bytes function so that we can write text anything you want we will write python is a great language something like that and after that we also need to mention the character encoding of this we'll just need to mention this as uh, utf8 because uh, when we are writing in uh, uh, bytes format we need to 
write this also you need to write this in a bias function also we have to give and, and also we need to give this a character encoding so after this we will close this file oh and one thing we are writing this in a byte so we need to keep this uh, mode as wb which means uh, bytes mode uh, otherwise uh, if we keep just w it will take as a normal mode so we need to run this in byte modes so it's a uh, no error had been showed that means a file has been created i will show the file here now so you can see this a uh, new file has been created that is python is the great language which you have just written you can also write uh, normally without this uh, bytes function and all so that we'll just copy these three lines and paste it here instead of this wb we'll just keep w we can remove this byte string and we know also no need to keep this encoding and I'll just change this text to powerful and we just need to keep it in the next line so we can use this percentage uh, so we can use this slash n and this would be just python just file write so now I will run this and see you can see the application ran without any errors so now I will open this uh, text file you can see this uh, the nothing python is a powerful language uh, you can see that first initial thing python is a great language got removed here because we are writing it as we open this in double, uh, write mode what it does is it uh, overwrites the existing file so this uh, line which i have written uh, has been uh, deleted and had a new line here we just kept a slash in the beginning so we got just got an empty empty line here in this line number one so that's how we can write using this write mode if you want to uh, uh, append to existing file we need to use the append mode which i'll discuss just uh, in a few moments after writing now we need to look how to read from a file so we'll see how to read from a file so uh, so for reading from a file uh, we'll just uh, create a, some variable called and we'll open it in a uh, reading mode we'll read this same text file and we'll open this in a uh, reading mode uh, and we need to read we need to take some variable something like string and we need to just uh, uh, use a function called read similar to open and uh, write there is also a function that which is called read so we will read this and we will next what we will do is we will just uh, print the output of this uh, print the text uh, in this file to the in console mm, read the content what will just is this content will be just the text variable here and after that we need to close the file that is so now if we uh, now if we now if i run this program and see you can see this uh, python is a powerful language that is read the content uh, actually we used a slash and while writing it so it comes to the next line and it says python is a powerful language so that's how we can read using uh, that's how we can read a, a python file using this uh, read function and all so now we'll go to how to append a file actually in the initial we thought uh, python is a great language and then we just added a one more line that's python is a powerful language but when writing uh, it got um, just got overwritten and only this uh, this line remained so now what we'll do is we'll just uh, now what we'll do is we'll just append to a file so we'll keep this as this thing itself python is a great language itself so next uh, now we will append this to the uh, now we will append uh, python is a powerful language string to the already existing file so we'll see how to append to a file so for file appending we will create a new variable for our sake and uh, uh, we will just uh, open it and we'll just uh, we'll copy this thing and we'll just need to change the mode of it and this would be a as i said here there are different modes you can also use a a b a plus or uh, for reading you can use r r plus or r b and for writing you can use w w plus w b and all so i'm using simple generic thing a and now if you want to append to a file what you need to do is uh, similarly just you can just write it how we have written here I'll just copy this and uh, 
I'll just copy this and paste it here. You just need to write it uh, instead of writing a great language. I'll just say powerful language and here I will keep a uh, uh, backslash so that it will go to the next line. Uh, simple as writing but we need to just open it in this mode the append mode that is a a plus or a b and now finally we need to close this file so finally uh, we, uh, we have um, appended to a file now we'll just run and see whether we transact fully or not so it transacts fully so that if we now we open this text dot file you can see Python is a great language, Python is a powerful language, two lines got uh, displayed here and previously while we were writing uh, it overwritten, uh, it, it has been overwritten by the write command so now instead of when you use, uh, so now when we use append uh, instead of overwriting it will append to the existing file so that's how this, uh, that's how we use this uh, append function in here and if any case, and if in any case if you want to delete a file completely in your program uh, suppose if you want a situation where you want to delete files uh, suppose for example if you, if you have a log files which are very very old you are maintaining it you are maintaining it from so many days if you want to delete it so you can use this uh, delete option in this um, python so in, uh, to delete a file actually we need to import a module called os actually we need to import uh, OS and uh, just there is a simple function in this OS module that is OS dot remove and we need to specify a file name which you want to delete here in our case that would be text test dot txt so now if we run this command uh, it automatically deletes the it automatically deletes this test dot uh, txt file so I will just run this and see I have ran it. You can see this uh, uh, this text uh, text dot text file uh, also disappeared from IDE. You can, uh, that uh, that got deleted. So and that's how that's it for the program. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment. Also, please share it with your friends. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos from programming in Python.com. Bye bye.